If you play on PC, this is the perfect guide for you. Today I'll be demonstrating a few simple techniques to enhance your FPS and reduce input delay in Fortnite Chapter 5. I'll keep this guide concise, but make sure to stay till the end for optimal performance. Let's dive right in. Alright, what you first want to do is to optimize the in-game settings. First, put this on full screen, and depending on how powerful your PC is, I recommend 1080p, but for me, I like the visuals a bit better, so I'm going to put on 1440p. Now, the best rendering mode for Fortnite is performance mode. There's a reason it's called performance mode, and it just gives you such high increases of FPS and a lot lower input delay, so I really recommend this quite a bit. And for graphics quality, for the 3D resolution, it really depends if you care more about visuals or performance, but most people watching this probably care about performance, so I'm going to recommend 85%. And I recommend putting Nanite Virtualized Geometry off because that does, you know, need DirectX 12, and we're, we want to be playing in performance mode. Um, I recommend this on either far or epic settings if your PC is quite powerful. But if you want like like all the the juice from your PC into performance and put this on low. Put this all the way down on low. But my PC can handle it on epics and I like to see pretty far. I recommend putting textures on low and meshes on low as well. Alright. The next thing you want to do is go to the third tab right here at game and scroll down. We're going to the replays. I recommend turning all of these off because it's basically recording in the background of your gameplay and that really like takes a stroll on the computer. But if you do use this for, you know, VOD reviewing and reviewing how you play, then I guess you can keep it on. But if you're not doing that, I recommend turning it off. And also for energy saving, I recommend turning this off as well. Now that I've showed you the best settings for in game, I'm going to show you the best settings for Windows. First thing I recommend doing is go to your Windows button or search and then search up background apps. And then I recommend turning it off. But if you have some of these apps that you would like to use, then you can, I guess you can turn a few of them on. But these apps run in the background, which take away a bit of the juice from your PC away from the game and into these background apps. And you want all the performance to be in your game. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card, I recommend you right clicking and go into NVIDIA control panel. Alright, so we're going to go to manage 3D settings. And I, I want you guys to copy the settings that I have right here. For low latency mode, you can either turn this on ultra or off or on if you want to. What the difference is on an ultra, your latency will be a lot less, but your FPS wouldn't be as high. And on off, your FPS would be a bit higher, but your latency would be a little higher. It's a trade-off, and my PC can get a decent amount of FPS, and I, I would rather have a low latency. And just keep copying the others. Pause if you would need to. Also, what you also want to do is go to, shoot, my brain hurts right now. Go to uh, change resolution and make sure the refresh rate is at the highest it can possibly go. And mine is at 165 hertz. While this guide is basic, following it guarantees increased frames and reduced input delay. If you're interested in this and you want to see more advanced guides in the future, let me know if you find this helpful. Drop a thumbs up and a subscribe if you're new.